Congratulations to every Bitcoin hodler. Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode. Alessandro the Crypto here. So, Bitcoin had yesterday a new all time high, and today also a new all time high. This is the long away that the bull run that we were waiting since December 2017. It has been exactly three years ago when we topped out here at 20k and had here this massive correction before finally we reached again our 20k target and also broke it. So everyone right now that bought Bitcoin doesn't matter when is in the profits. So congratulations out there to every Bitcoin hodler, especially if you also went through this bear market from 2018 till 2020, because also this year we had this big crash in March. So in the same year we came down to $3,800 and after a couple of months we reached this new all time high of around $24,000 that we had at the moment. It is possible that Bitcoin is still pushing towards $30,000 because if we zoom out here you can see that the next Fibonacci extension is up here $30,000 so it is still possible that Bitcoin is reaching this price level before maybe having a major correction which of course is still in the cards but before we may be correct that much I think it is still very likely that we could reach here this level. So if we now start with our daily TA and we start here in the four hour time frame, you can see that currently uh, we had a quite harsh rejection here at $24,000. We came right here to $23,800. And here the four hour candle, as you can see, had a big wick to the upside. So usually this indicates that this could be a local top and we could be seeing right now a correction incoming at least to test one of these important moving averages like here the 20 at $20,000 or maybe even towards a 200 moving average in the four hour right at $18,500. And why I think that we could come again below $20,000 is because of course we are very overbought right now with this push that we had to the upside and also if we are not starting to consolidate in this area up here and create a new support and bring all the moving averages above 20k this could have been just the final move here the final pump to have a blow off top and then start a massive correction but overall bitcoin of course is looking very bullish and we should expect a big continuation to the upside because bitcoin will go way way higher than what we have seen right now so this $24,000 in my opinion is still nothing in comparison to what Bitcoin will do, especially next year till the end of 2021. So this is just the beginning of the rally. And if you missed out the boat or you still need to accumulate more Bitcoin, then try to DCA into the next big dip or at least if we're going to have a massive correction to try to buy as much as you can towards the 20 weekly moving average. We're going to have a look at this price level later on on the weekly time frame. But first, let's focus here in the lower time frames here the four hour because here it looks like that we could be in here at least for the short term into a potential correction down again towards 20k and then maybe gear up here for another big move to the upside and also break $24,000. It is really amazing to see these price levels in the same year after we crashed down to $3,800. So this is really amazing to speak about these prices after we had such a drop this year. So once more my friends congratulations Congratulations to everyone that is holding Bitcoin right now and of course also for everyone that traded this with a long because here you could have traded very nicely over on Bybit or Femex with a very nice long position even with a small amount of money if you would have done just like 10x or 5x you would have done very very nice profit so congratulations if you took this trade over on Bybit or Femex don't forget that over on Bybit and Femex you can trade even with small money with leverage and like this you can multiply your Bitcoin very easily if you still need an account use my referral links that you find down below here because with my links you will get this sign up bonus and of course you also support the channel and 
and if you don't want to trade at your own try out prime xpt because currently these top traders are also making a lot of gains look at this one over here the number one trader a couple of days ago i showed you this trader that had around three thousand percent in profits and with this pump that we have seen during the last 24 hours this guy is over six thousand percent in profit so if you would have done here just this copy trade thing you just top up a little bit of bitcoin over here and click follow you could have done already very nice gains without doing anything without even do your own ta and so on so of course this is also very risky but like this of course you can also try to multiply your bitcoin in a very easy way and gain some passive money without the need of have your eyes glued 24 7 in front of the screen so try out prime xpt with this co-vesting feature so far I'm happy even though some of the traders that I had a big hope in it um, uh, got liquidated or at least are like 99% in losses but some of them are working very very profitable and I'm very happy with this uh, feature and if you still need a prime xpt account it's also for free and no kyc nothing then use my link down below here you find it also in the video description and now my friends let's go over into the daily time frame because here as you can see bitcoin had here this perfect bounce out of the 50 level in the rsi and i told you that if here we're gonna see a big bounce to the upside we should be preparing for a big breakout here to the upside and definitely break here this 20k area so it is very likely that we will come down again here to test the new support at around 20k because previously it was a very strong resistance and now it should be acting as a strong support if we're gonna go below and close daily candles again below 20k then i think this could be the beginning of a massive correction that could maybe take us even towards the 200 daily moving average here at $12,500. At the moment, of course, it's not very likely, but it can happen. It is still in the cards. Even though Bitcoin is going parabolic and will potentially even go towards $30,000, watch out always at those important moving averages in the daily and also in the weekly, because the 200 daily moving average very often is getting tested. And uh, the 20 and 9 day moving average are lining up here right at $19,500. So it is possible that we will visit these levels again. But the more we're going to stay above 20K, of course, the higher these moving averages will come. And then, of course, if we're going to have a little dip, we will not go anymore below 20K, at least till we're going to have a net the next local top it is possible that we already have this local top here at twenty three thousand eight hundred dollar but it's not yet confirmed i think today bitcoin has still some room left to the upside and we could even go higher than that we are now basically again in this upwards trending channel that we lost here but now we recovered back in so watch out here for this possible resistance up at twenty four thousand seven hundred dollar i told you yesterday that if twenty one thousand seven hundred is broken because you can see that yesterday here we had resistance right at the previous support the next potential resistance is up here at twenty four thousand four hundred fifty so watch out for this level because it is possible that here we are getting some resistance it's very hard to tell right now my friends because we're trading right now in no man's land bitcoin never traded above 20k so far so currently we are in no man's land and we have to try to figure out with the data that we had here in the last couple of days and weeks what could be the next potential targets and now since we are in the daily time frame let's have a look also into the bitcoin dominance because if we zoom out here a little bit you can see that we had here this potential falling broadening wedge or maybe also consolidation wedge if you measure here from the last bottom that we had buff is possible but anyway you can see that we are trading here between the 60 percent level and also here the resistance at around 67 percent so i think it is very likely that the altcoins will potentially follow this pump that bitcoin had pretty soon because here we are approaching a very strong resistance at around 67 percent in the bitcoin dominance and that's why i think here it is very likely that maybe we're gonna have another little correction down here towards the 60 level so in that case bitcoin maybe 
maybe starting to trade sideways or go a little bit down and the opposite we're gonna see in the altcoins that we're gonna see a massive uh, pump also in the altcoin space so we're gonna have to keep an eye what is going on here because I think if we are getting rejected here at the resistance of around 67% we could see a little altcoin season coming back again but the big fireworks I think will happen once we are going to break out here to the upside or to the downside in the Bitcoin dominance so if we're gonna go above 67% I think we will see a big Bitcoin pump to the upside and the opposite in the altcoins a lot of money from altcoins will float into Bitcoin so watch out here for these two important levels here the 67% in the Bitcoin dominance and also the support here at around 60% because as soon as we're gonna break out out of this cluster we're gonna see big fireworks in my opinion so if you want to sit on the safe side then just stick in here with Bitcoin but if you want to try to swing trade also some altcoins then of course you have to keep an eye here on this breakout that will happen potentially in the next couple of days or weeks and now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up also the weekly time frame because here you can see the clear support that we would have in case that we're gonna see really a bigger correction and that is here first the nine weekly moving average at seventeen thousand three hundred sixty dollars and right here the 20 weekly moving average at fourteen thousand dollar so i think it is very likely that if this was a local top here that we're gonna retrace at least towards the 0.5 fib line here at the 20 weekly moving average this is very likely to come if we're gonna have a correction from now on but bitcoin is looking so bullish that i think we will see continuation to the upside at least towards twenty four thousand four hundred dollar and if we break also that possible resistance 30k is inevitable before we're gonna see a major correction the thing is that we are still overbought here the sell signal disappeared with this pump that we had overnight so Bitcoin of course will go to way higher levels but on the way there we are gonna see also dips we are gonna see also corrections and that's why make sure to DCA into these corrections once they're going to happen and never go all in always split your entries and make sure that you're not going to panic sell because the worst thing that you can do is to buy the top and then sell once we're gonna crash so you should do the opposite try to DCA once we're going to see a correction and take a little bit of profits out once everything is going completely FOMO and even if you don't take some profits out and you have some cash on the sideline then wait for such corrections to buy even more Bitcoin like this you will be very profitable for the future but the really worst thing that you can do is when you FOMO in once everything is going completely parabolic and sell again once everything is dropping again very very important my friends buy the dips buy when there is blood on the streets and take some profits once everyone is going completely FOMO because what we are seeing right now is global FOMO and this will come more and more over time so this this is just the beginning Bitcoin will go way way over 100,000 till the end of next year and potentially also into 2022 so make sure that you're ready to buy more Bitcoin if we're gonna see a correction incoming in the next couple of days and also be ready to scale in some nice long positions once we're gonna bottom out again because as you can see here with leverage over on Bybit and Femex you can do also very nice trades with small money and multiply your Bitcoin very very easily. So with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Enjoy the ride to the upside. Enjoy all the gains that you have done so far because right now everyone is in profit. Congratulations again and don't forget it is also good to sometimes take a little bit of profits out to buy in if we're gonna see a correction and of course if you want to buy yourself something it is always good to take some profits out but don't sell because you think you will be able to buy cheaper this is very very dangerous and if you believe in the fundamentals of Bitcoin and if you believe in Bitcoin there is no need to sell for fiat at any time just try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible with every dip and every correction also it would be very much appreciated my friends if you can hit that like button down here and also subscribe to the channel I do daily TA videos and also check out also the links that you find down below here because with my links you will get some free money especially over on coinbase on crypto.com on swissborg with those links you can get some extra money if you sign up with my links and also use the recommended exchanges like binance for example bybit femex 
those are the ones that I'm also using and if you're interested in getting into my Discord trading chat it's completely for free you can just click down below here in the invitation code and also if you want to get access into my own live stream where you can see my own indicator you can contact me over on Discord as well so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye